There we go. Oh, there. Here we go. This video, I'm going to do a unboxing, unwrapping of the new Piranha Ripper. This is a Piranha Ripper medium, and I've been wanting to try one of these for a while. I got to get in one um, not too long ago, but it was kind of like a brief paddle on some low water mank stuff. I didn't really get to really kind of feel out the Piranha Ripper. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to do a complete unwrapping. This is a brand new boat. So this boat has never been never been on the water. It's brand new. You're going to see me open it. This is what you would get if you purchased a Piranha Ripper. This is what you would pick up. You would get the boat. This is exactly how you would get it from Piranha. So yeah, let me um let me go ahead and open this thing up and see what I think about it. I love the fact that I can like look at a boat on how it gets shipped. I have no idea what what's going to be in it. Um I'll tell you what, I could definitely get some better scissors. These things suck. Let me get rid of these things. Those things couldn't cut nothing. Um, there we go. So, oh yeah, that's so much better. A layer of plastic here. Pretty good. I don't want to scratch it all up, you know. You want to save the the scratches for the river. This color also, so this color is one of their mix and match colors. This is a custom color, purple blue. So um, I like the color. It looks pretty good. I didn't order it, but you know what? I still like the look of it. It is a custom, and there's the, the colors for the custom. So yeah, looks like some sort of little MSO, checked by, finished by, serial number. There's that. A lot. Look at that. Now that's interesting, because they know when they put it on the container, I wonder if that's made. You know what? That, that's some sort of edging for cardboard, and they've just sliced it. Packing tape. I always hate packing tape. Or kayaks, at least, leaves this weird residue. Wow, look at that. This boat looks really good. That is a really cool color. There's something rolling around back there. Oh, that's what that is. So. In shipping. One of the one of the knobs did come off in shipping. But um, that's something, one of the things I'd like to see is some sort of uh, Loctite added to that. That would be easy to add some sort of Loctite to that. These things do rattle off in shipping and you could lose one. So that's something that um, you might want to watch during, during transport. These things rattle off and they just fly everywhere. So if I had this boat, I would actually drop a little bit of Loctite down in there. So, but there is there is two on there. So even if you lost one, you still got another one. So I'm gonna put that one back on there. Right away, man, this thing came. I mean, you got to think it was it came on a container. It looks really good. This boat looks. I really like this color. This is a really cool color. I like that. I love the purple grab handles. Look at that. Custom made, I think these were gold on the other one I had. I think this was a gold, but that looks so cool. A purple grab handle, that is anodized aluminum. That looks really good. And those are aluminum, that's tough. Into an insert. Um, that's smart. This right here, that little bit right there, that's really smart. Because when you, when you pack them in containers, a lot of times 
this area will get it, it's going to set on the ocean for I don't know how long five months who knows depends on where it's coming from but having that in there is so smart that is cheap it's easy and it holds that structure right there I like that good job on that good job on packing on that I like that a lot um, owner's manual oh there is a tool you do get a little little allen key looks to be a number four allen key which is kind of like this number four allen keys pretty much become industry standard now owner's manual kind of goes over a little bit on the owner's manual so yeah there's that what else look at that this is a uh, so yeah oh that that goes on that it said that the self-adhesive foam pad must be trimmed and sized, fitted to a footrest, footrest pod before use. So they do have, it looks like someone's used some sort of Sharpie marker and marked out where the bars need to be cut and how to trim this thing. Big old nice piece of foam. I like that. That's a good idea. And it's stiff. This is very stiff foam. This isn't like, it's a different type of foam. Very stiff foam on that. You want to trim that. This bag, this is called the Stout 2 kit bag. So I guess they're calling their outfitting the Stout, the Stout kit. And we'll see what's in it. What is in this? What in the hell is this thing? Oh, this is for the seat. This is called you get a, a front seat height shim. This is to add, uh, it looks to be around about maybe a quarter inch, a quarter inch thick. So you could go up a half inch on your seat to lift you up. It looks like it goes in there like that. So it goes in that way. They pretty much, hey, right here, these are little screwdriver top rivets. You would lift that up and slide this in like that. A little cut out back there and it slides in like that. Okay. Two seat height Jim. oh how cool that's always been the coolest that is the coolest um, that's pretty much when I see this this tells me that hey my boats probably gonna leak but you know how many times have I seen these floating down the river out of it from swimmers a bunch so you know I'd much rather have a water bottle personally piranha I would rather have a water bottle than this damn thing this doesn't even do that much thing this is more like a piece to put on the mantle that looks cool I love the looks of that I almost don't want to use that in a boat I think that just looks cool like that So yeah I'm, I think I'm gonna keep that <laughs> what is this that's some sort of thigh brace you know what that is that's a good idea I really like that that's for the knees that's for the thigh braces up in the knees. Wow, I like that. So these are like some peel and stick like thigh brace pad for the kneecaps. One thing that I always like smelling that stuff. One one thing that, that always bothers me is my kneecap hits right here. They actually give you that. I like that. That's pretty good. You get two of them. Two of these things. Hip pad shims. What a tiny little shim. Look how tiny that shim is. Those are so tiny. Um, you get four four hip pad shims. Those things go down in there like that. Look at this. They just gave you. What is this for? I have no idea. That's just a whole roll. That's like a whole roll of pill and stick foam. I guess you could just use that randomly. Maybe on the heels of your feet or up in here that's where I'm gonna use it is up in here I really like having that um, up in there so yeah that's that's I think that's it anything else in there fit and finish so looking at this boat the way it came this looks really good this boat looks r amazing I love this build quality looks good that's from where I drug it a while ago that looks real good. I'll do a, um, I just want to do a quick unboxing on this. I just kind of want to do a quick unwrapping video on the Piranha Ripper. I'll do a, um, 
kind of first impressions on what I think of the boat like uh, in a later video right now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and outfit it to fit me. I don't think I need to let you guys see that. So yeah, watch for videos coming soon on paddling this boat. So yeah, thanks a lot guys and uh, catch you next time.